Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today uh, we have something special for you because um, there are some people asking for summoners and I'm like, uh, okay, summoners are not really my favorite Macs. And there were also, also some people asking for stock Macs and I'm like, hmm, let's combine this thing. Let's just do a challenge today and I want to play the Summoner Prime in the stock Omnipod loadout. Um, why this? I'm gonna to, I'm gonna tell you guys. This is again. This is, uh, this is. I wouldn't say this is an optimized build, but I, I think it's interesting to play. And uh, here is why. Now the stock Omnipod uh, bonus that we get from the eighth set is ballistic cooldown 10%, energy heat minus 5%, missile cooldown minus 10%, and clan era PPC velocity plus 10%. It's good. That's uh, nice to have. Mm, and then, I mean, the obvious thing is that we take an ERPPC and an LB10 and an SRM4 Artemis. The problem is that we don't have that much pod space, um, which makes ballistic weapons highly inefficient on a summoner. So they take up so much weight and you don't have enough weight for anything else. But uh, let me show you this. Haha, -ha, LBX spread minus 10%, LBX velocity plus 30% and some structure. On top of ballistic cooldown, Minus 10%, energy heat, minus 5%, LRM spread, ignore it, L SRM spread, minus 10, missile velocity, a torso yaw angle. Right torso, energy cooldown, minus 10, energy heat, ear PPC velocity, uh, uh, no, cooldown actually. And then we have this one here as well with more velocity and structure. You can see that this, this, whole, this whole thing is completely quirk because it's so weird and so odd. And this is what we capitalize on today. So it's not the build itself that is optimized. Uh, we just try to make use of all the quirks here and uh, try to do the best on the battlefield. So therefore the PPC obviously and uh, the LB10. That's a very nice, very nice uh, cold DPS weapon on top of some early damage potential from long range. We have four double heat sinks in the engine, so we don't need any more than this. The heat management says 1.64 and that's exactly it. It feels like you will never, never ever run hot. Skills. Now, for the skills, I want cooldown. I wanted to maximize cooldown as much as possible here. Therefore, um, I went down the left side, I went down the right side, get cooldown here. We have some cooldown over here, here and here. And then on top of it, magazine capacity and LBX spread so that our LB can, can sustain the damage. That's the idea here. Um, having no survivability yet, but I think I'm gonna get some. So probably maxing it out soon, uh, but I'm only at 45 um, points here. I was working my way towards the, the speed week here, but uh, uh, don't do that. I would I would probably take this back, but at the moment there is no reason uh, bringing the, the notes or taking the notes out here. So it's not needed. Um, jump chats, arguable, but I think it's not needed either. You don't need operations, uh, but you want radar deprivation for pop touch shenanigans so that you can break the, the locks instantly when you fall back to cover. And what I'm going here uh, going for here is the double artillery strike since we can jump into the air and then shoot our artillery down at the heads of our foes and then jump back to cover. But yeah, maxing firepower and survivability and then just go. That's the idea. Um, that's the build, everybody. <laughs> I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. Again, it was a tough challenge for me, but I think I kind of made it work. And if you enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing the HPG Manifold and we are playing Domination. This is gonna be interesting, yeah. So I think I'm gonna just pop tart. I just pop tart the hell out of the enemy with my very, very actually cold loadout and uh, with my crazy crazy cooldown so we can actually constantly constantly jump up and shoot and then fall down again and then do it again so just popping over here and there and here something like this uh, later on when the when the brawl is on of course we can we can start just uh, doing face DPS that's the that's a plan here. That's my 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 rough idea out of this here. Um, sadly, the make is not mastered yet, so uh, we are missing out on some cooldown. We are missing out on probably I don't know, probably survivability here. Okay, let's see if we can find an enemy. I love the jump jet capacity on the on the summoner. That's really a really cool thing. Having this on a heavy mech is is great. So we wait for it to fill up again, and then we we do a jump. Oh wait, actually we don't need to do a jump since uh, we can try to hit it here. The problem that I'm having, um, and I, I, it constantly trips me over, is that the uh, cockpit is uh, off-center. And uh, therefore, I usually usually put a lot of my damage to the, um, to the ground there, or to the, to the landscape. Hey, dude. Oh, wow, and the, the velocity is actually pretty high. 
All right. New target. I need I need to adjust to this. It's actually the first first game that I'm playing here. Yeah. Uh, uh. Not sure if that hit actually. It felt like I had a lot of lag here. I mean, this hit definitely. Oh yeah, please stay. All of all of you stay there. All of you, please stay there. Oh, missiles. Let's try to dodge them. I do not have raider deprivation yet, so ow. And again, do you see that? Things just went to the ground. Oh, they are for me here. Ow. Okay, we're gonna keep going there. Hmm. Hmm. All right, team is pushing. We are doing some kind of... No, it's not really NASCAR. It's rather, rather aggressive. Aggressive play from the center, from the top here. I appreciate this. Nice job, everybody. That's really good. Wow, look at this. It's four and two already. And I didn't even get to shoot my, my missiles here. I mean, I could have if I wanted, but I didn't do it yet. And yeah, the, the, the arm, the, the, the weapon convergence here is so, so weird. All right, let's go for this guy. Now the missiles. <laughs> okay, okay. And this is what I was talking about earlier. Hi. We just brawl here? Or do I have just so, so much lag going on for me? See that? Okay, we got him. <laughs> I don't know. The good thing is um, that, again, Mac, extremely cold. Uh, we only have two weapons, or three weapon systems, actually. The hottest weapon system is, of course, our PPC here. And therefore, we don't have to worry so much about this. Wait, this was the guy who was... No, it's another Roughneck. Okay. Hey, Roughneck. Nice. And we keep going. <laughs> Again, such a weird little mech here. Oh, actually, not a little mech, but it's actually a heavy. So, it's, it's still weird. The point stands. It is a very weird mech. And if you play it almost stock like I do here... Uh, I don't know. The, hmm. I'm having fun, don't get me wrong. It's uh, it's it's fun to play, but I I have to adjust to this playstyle. This is not what I usually do. And sometimes sometimes you try to hit a commando in full run and don't get it. Again, weapon convergence, mm, a little bit off. But in the end, you could see, we cycle through our weapons and we deal some decent damage here and we got some kills. Now, uh, a lot of the credits have to go to the team because they had great positioning and great aggression and super hard focus fire. As you might tell, I dealt about 500 damage, we got a kill, we got 9 assists, we got 1 kill most damage dealt and 2 components destroyed. That was actually in the middle of everything. It was okay, look at this. Everybody, everybody did their part here. I'm very happy about this. And that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. I invested a little bit into uh, support systems. For example, artillery strikes and UAVs. So that's what we do here. We have a good pop dart ability that makes uh, absolute sense taking artillery strike then because we can just drop them in mid air and the enemy will get hit by it, hopefully. So uh, what are we doing here? Mining Collective is sold. We are probably just going to Delta 4 and try to get some early damage into Echo 4. Or we could set up on top of this. Hmm, I like the idea. So we, we just harass early on and, and make them uncomfortable. And from this spot we have... Never mind. We have great overview. Ow. Damn it. I didn't see that correctly. Now we have great overview from here. And we can drop, uh, again, artillery um, to this spot. No problem. And, uh, of course, we can go for... Oh, my God. Holy crap. It's everybody. Everybody's still in Delta 3. Like, everybody. As in everybody. Okay. Target. Just dropping to safety here. This is ATMs. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. Everybody is here. In Delta 4 now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to dodge the incoming incoming fire. I thought we should hit. Uh, the Hunchback is probably still on top here. So let's, yeah, let's bring up a UAV. Let's try to get on top of this situation. Ah, uh, yeah, never mind. Okay, we drop the missiles. Dodge the missiles. And the second artillery is ready. Uh, at the moment, I'm not in the best spot here. Since my auto cannon is on the left side and my PPC is on the right. I want to be able to shoot both though. Mm -hmm, see that? It's not so good. And I'm getting shot in the back. Oh, hello, good sir. Hello. Yeah, you you are not killing me. Nope. 
not not you, not you alone. Damage. Okay. Okay, we got the kill. I'm super crit though. I am mega crit. Uh, this is the thing. Um, if somebody pushes you and they think, hey, it's a summoner, it's an easy kill. In this variant here, in this stock loadout, you have DPS and uh, you have cold DPS on top of it. Also, we have we have a nice target over here. Yeah, this is it. Okay. I want to kill the missile boat. Where is he? Hey, dude. Hi. Uh, I should have waited for my artillery, honestly. Let's go for his side there. Couldn't get it. That's fine, though. So we, we are... Damn it. We are in over overwatch position here. That's nice. <laughs> and the Kintaro is still firing his missiles. Alright. So let's uh, reposition a little bit. My team is doing a great job murdering everybody. That's really good. And uh, I want to get the Kintaro. I wonder how damaged he is. Let's not tap the base so that they don't know that we are here. Not necessarily. There he is. Hello, good sir. I'm still here to kill you. And he shut down again. So we're gonna lay into him. I missed that. Okay. It's not quite dead. But... Oh, we've got some good targets down here. Okay. The problem is, again, that I'm a little bit mildly... Mildly damaged here. So... Not sure if I can fight this Nova. But I have teammates around. Yes, that's fine. Alright. There we go. Only using our cold weapons now. Oh, this is so cool. I like this. I like this a lot. The LB10 plus the, the PPC here. Ah, damn it. Nope. Getting shot from the back. Need to be careful here. I'm so crit. Yeah, they're coming in with missiles now. Nova, still alive. Um, is this our missile barrage? Nova is not dead yet. Come on. You can do it. <laughs> I wanted to. But it's okay. So one enemy. I think it's in Delta 4. Yeah. It is uh, Kodiak. Nice. Nice Kodiak there. So we might get a shot on him. Yes, we did. So... <laughs> the low arms. Again, it's just a summoner. A summoner with arm-mounted weapons. It is weird. It is a little bit weird. But I like the DPS. I mean, you wanted it. You got it. And that's gonna be it. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got one killing blow. And we have 11 assists. That means that we touched everybody. We got actually 2 kilomers damage dealt and 670 damage with one component destroyed. That's it for today, everybody. That was your daily dose with the stock summoner. It was a nice challenge for me. Thank you for that. And if you liked the video, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield, everybody. Goodbye.